Hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome to the finals of Fighter Subscriber Season 4. We had 70 craft enter this season, more than double what we had in Season 3, and now we have whittled it down to just these four. We left the last episode on a little bit of a cliffhanger because there were uh, three craft tied in fourth place, so we didn't know who would be our last finalist, but I went and checked the tiebreak criteria, and uh, yes, finishing off our foursome today will be Hilda's Backburner V2, but... Maybe we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Let's uh, let's go and meet this season's finalists. We start with the X-Ray Shinden F01 by Maximus Light, a beautiful, intricately detailed craft which Max clearly poured a lot of time and effort into, and then kind of sabotaged by not setting up the control surfaces properly, but uh, still managed to impress, so God knows what this thing would have been like at full strength. Next up, we have the SMFL-10F Switchblade by Big Boy, a relatively simple-looking fighter and the only single-engine craft in today's finals. Nonetheless, it has proved itself to be an exceptionally deadly competitor. Moving on, we have the FF215F5 Aquila by Casino Stardust, a craft which, as I mentioned at the time, went through quite a few iterations before I was happy that uh, it was the right side of the rules, and even then I noticed some things and had to make some adjustments last minute, um, but still went on to absolutely shred my craft in its heat. And finally, we have the aforementioned Backburner V2 by Hilda, a craft which just snuck into the previous round at the last minute by virtue of a tiebreak, repeated the feat to find itself here today, so will this craft's luck run out, or does it have one final surprise left in store for us? Just before we get to the wanton bloodshed that I know you're so desperately craving, uh, we don't just declare a knockout champion today, we also see who's won the original challenge of fighting my craft. So if we bring up this season's leaderboard, we can see that it is Big Boy Switchblade that becomes our challenge champion for this season. Will he become a double champion and triumph in the knockout stage as well, or is someone else gunning to upset the odds? Let's find out. So as we did with Fighter Subscriber, the teams are going to do these semi-finals in a first versus fourth and second versus third format, or in this case, second versus second, as both these craft were tied for that place. So this is Casino Stardust, FF215, F5, Aquila, and uh, Maximus Light's X-Ray Shinden F01. Let's, uh, let's get them into the air. And the competition starts. Both these craft going for a higher than default altitude strategy. The X-Ray Shrindon's really getting up high. What are they set for? Um, oh, a little bit of instability there. Let's um, turn dogfight camera on, get a better view of this. Uh, the missiles are going in. Oh my god, that is an absolute cloud of missiles coming in from the uh, from the Aquilas. The, uh, the X-Ray Shrindon's breaking low seem to be dodging most of them. Yeah. Some of them getting a little close, but otherwise passing comfortably behind their tails. The uh, the Shindons don't seem to be getting away too many missiles of their own at the moment. Just more focused on the dodging. GT Carmen here, breaking ever lower and lower and lower. I think that might be the advantage of the uh, might be the advantage of the high altitude strategy. It does manage to get a missile away now. It means you do have. A lot of altitude to play with when you're dodging missiles, and uh, you still come out of that fairly high up. It's uh, yeah, very much now the X-ray Shinden's turn to uh, to get some missiles away. How are the Aquilas doing? Yes, the Aquilas. Um, yeah, <laughs> dogfight cam taking a second to work out what was going there. Yeah, dogfight cam has been incredibly temperamental this season. <laughs> it's like. You want to see a missile, you want to see another one on the plane, you're shooting at something, you've destroyed something, we can't see it. Ah, oh, fine. We're into close combat range now, though. Adam Kerman trying to line up a missile onto that. That's going to be a very close range. Doesn't quite manage to pull it off. That would have been a little too close range for a Sidewinder. I, we have seen some stunning close range Sidewinder kills, but... Um, oh my god, that is one of the... Uh, one of the one of the Shindons taking a very, very heavy hit by Adam Kerman. It's Adam Kerman manages to dodge the gunfire coming into him. Um, again, Dogfight Cam, you're doing a, doing a bang-up job there. Let's um, see if we can switch. Oh, it is that X-Ray Shindon, first time. Something is taking a beating there. GT Kerman can't quite line the guns up. It might have... Oh, that's one of, that's one of his uh, wingmen. Yeah. Taking a real spanking there. Oh! One of the Aquilas has taken a hit. I think that might have been some friendly fire. What the hell is going on? We've only got... Yeah, this is the last remaining healthy Shindon. Lines up a... Lines up a missile. Manages to get a Sidewinder away. 
I'm not sure that's done anything. I think it did actually manage to get a get a bit of a hit, but uh, GT Kerman is losing parts fast and two, at least two healthy uh, healthy Aquilas on his tail. Oh no! And it is all over. The Aquilas progressed to the next round. Did uh, did one of these take a hit? Is, are these like missing anything? Yes, this one has uh, taken some moderate damage, missing an air intake, missing um, missing a wing, um, missing some wing surface. But otherwise, good job. Let's uh, let's move on. So who will join the Aquila in the final and who will be left to battle it out for third place? The competitors for this one are, of course, Big Boy's Switchblade and Hilda's Backburner. Let's, uh, let's get this one started. And the competition starts. Now, oh, little bit of instability there from the Switchblade. Now, this, this should be so one-sided. I mean, this craft here, the Switchblade, I mean, it really just minced my craft, the only one in the previous round to get a perfect score, and the back burner that just, just scraped by twice. So, as I said, yeah, this should be one side, but it's it's those fights that always make me a bit suspicious. Because <laughs> you do get the upset, and oh my god, one of the back burners just did, yeah, one of the back burners just committed, I think that was, was it suicide? No. Sorry, I was getting confused. I thought it was one of the uh, one of the switchblades committing uh, uh, suicide by sidewinder or suicide winder. But no, one of the backburners has gone. Maybe, maybe it won't be the upset. Maybe it won't be the upset. Let's uh, let's turn on the dogfight cam and hope it behaves. Hmm. Maybe the uh, the good old boring one of the switchblades has taken a heavy hit. Maybe it'll be the good old boring expected result after all. That's a lot of countermeasures being uh, being dispersed by Steve Kerman's craft. Gunfire is going in. Trying to pull some evasive maneuvers, trying to come round, but no, can't quite do it. Losing some wing service, losing quite a lot more. Yeah. That one is out of here. Watermelon Kerman missing some wing surface and some uh, control surface. I don't think the uh, backburners are going to come back from this. They took down two of the switchblades. So close. So, so, so close, but their luck does run out at the third time of asking. And the switchblades are into our final. So before we get down to determining this season's knockout champion, uh, we are going to do our traditional third place playoff. Uh, a chance for Maximus Light and his x ray and F-01 to save a little bit of pride. A chance for Hilda and his backburner V2 to cause one last upset. Let's um, let's get them into the air. The competition starts. The X-ray Shindens up at about their 5,000 meter um, default altitude. Yeah, it's oh my god, <laughs> they're spinning out already. Yeah, it's an interesting tactic. Um, I it has been used in previous seasons of Fighter Subscriber to phenomenal effect. I think it was season two. One of the finalists, that was basically its trick. And then in the final it came up against um came up against Kraft where that trick wasn't quite good enough and got absolutely wrecked. But it, it, it can it can pay dividends, yet that tiny, tiny bit unstable. How are the uh, how are the backburners doing? GT Kerman breaking very low, let's turn on the dogfight cam and um, please please behave. Please really behave for this one. Just more missiles going backwards and forwards. GT Kerman just down to a uh, down to a few sidewinders. No significant damage yet on any of the no damage of any kind on any of the craft yet. I think unless I missed something. Another missile goes safely behind the tail of GT Kerman. Um, yeah, and now oh, that was close. Some of those are coming close, but not close enough. And they're taking a while to close the gap. Oh, there is a little bit of gunfire going in there. Uh, was that involving Ion Coma? One of the backburners has gone. One of the backburners is just completely gone. Oh my god, another one of the backburners. That's a proximity hit from uh, from a sidewinder. GT Kerman. I think we know how this is going to end up. I think we know how this is going to end up. Yeah, and that's going to be another proximity hit. 
Oh my god, that got one of the... I think that got one of the X-ray Shindons more than it got the... Um, more than it got one of the back burners. And yes, one of the X-ray Shindons was taken out. How did that happen? Yeah. That was, uh, that was friendly fire, but then... Um, Gunfire finally came and put paid to the uh, to the backburners hopes of staging a miraculous comeback. So it is fourth place to uh, fourth place to Hilda and his backburner V2, which has done phenomenally well, everything considering, and a, uh, a well deserved third place to uh, to Maximus Light's X-ray Shindon. Now let's uh, let's move on and see the one we've all been waiting for. Seventy craft entered. We whittled it down to twelve then to four, and now we are left with just two. And we are moments away from seeing who will be the last man standing. Um, well, I mean, unless I, like, <laughs> keel over halfway through uh, halfway through recording this. Uh, oh, God, that's not a pleasant thought. Oh, let's, let's, let's move on. Anyway, yes, Big Boy and his SMFL10F Switchblade will be gunning to become the double champions. On the other hand, Casino Stardust and his FF215F5 Aquila. We'll be hoping to spoil the party. Let's, um, let's see what happens. The competition starts. Omelette Kerman is around very, very quickly trying to line up the missiles. Um, one feature of the Switchblade, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it this, um, this video. I've been recording this over a few days. <laughs> And with my memory, I basically have no idea. But it does have that little drop tank on the bottom, which um, detaches the moment it enables its guns. Just meaning that you know, as soon as it gets close in, it can um, it can lose that uh, lose that extra weight. And in the meantime, it is just draining fuel from that one fuel tank. If you'll let me click on the sodding thing, there we go. Although it's it's not actually doing that at the moment. I'm assuming it's draining from the front tank. Possibly not. Let's just uh, let's just turn on dogfight cam and forget about that. Omelette Kerman has a lock, goes for another missile. Again, no early missile kills, nothing on the first volley. We'll have to see what happens with the second volley. Oh my god, Dogfight Cam, would you please behave yourself just for this, just for this one fight, if nothing else. Already into gun range with one of the uh, one of the other switchblades. Um Yep, this craft switches to guns. Oh my god! It <laughs> it collides with its own drop tank. May have caused a little bit of damage there, but I think Omelette Kerman's craft is basically unscathed. The, uh... Oh my god! Omelette Kerman just is absolute toast! Steak Kerman doing some heavy damage on one of the other switchblades. Oh my word! Yeah, that switchblade missing quite a lot of the craft. It could be an upset. It could be an upset on the card. One of the switchblades just gets wrecked. Just gets double teamed by the Aquilas. This this is not what I was expecting. Oh my god! Two of the Aquilas, two of the Aquilas now collide into each other, taking one of them out and and just damaging the other one. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like the, the damage on the other one was too heavy, though. I think I think we know which way this is going. It looked like there might be a twist in the. Might be a twist in the tail, but I don't think so. Sadly, no. Sadly for the switchblade. Was was there any major damage done? This one is missing a canard, missing yeah, missing an air intake. Reasonably superficial though. So that is it. We have our season four champion. And it is Casino Stardust and his FF215F Aquila. Let's, uh, let's go wrap this one up. So that, as they say, is that. Our challenge champion, Big Boy, and his uh, Switchblade is joined by uh, Casino Stardust as our knockout champion with his Aquila. Congratulations to both of them. Um, yeah, it's been a hell of a season. Over double the entries of Season 3, so I might have to start thinking about tweaking the format to cope with it a bit better, uh, but I think I am hoping to do the next Fighter Subscriber a lot sooner, so that might help. I don't know what I'll do. I might, you know, try seeding some of the contestants. Um, um, not not, not seeding them, you know, seeding them as in sort of ranking them prior to the competition starting, not the, the you know, you know. Um, <laughs> although it might help reduce numbers if that scares some people off. Uh, oh, God, what was I saying? 
So that's it for another season of Fighter Subscriber. My huge thanks to everyone who sent in a craft, to everyone who's who's watched, who's liked, who's commented, who's shared that kind of thing. Yes, um, as I said, hopefully I knew one along before soon, but um, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you uh, if you have and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting. Um, Yes, uh, maybe following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, great KSP and BD Armour community on there and more with the sides. Uh, all those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon. Uh, you too can get your own little patron kerbal like I've been using um, throughout this competition and in all my KSP videos, as well as your name at the end of uh, the end of the videos, access to the Patreon and Discord, some other stuff I'm trying out, that kind of thing. I will be back soon with some more fighter subscriber. Hopefully, fingers crossed, no promises. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.